Hey guys and gals, this is Dr. Rona Thau, and today I am going to share with you uh, some tips on breathing and meditation. Uh, it's something, you know, I've been doing forever, uh, formally and informally, and it's something that really can help you tune yourself into you. It can help you release pain. It can help you release stress, anxiety. It'll help you perform better in life. And ultimately, it will help the world be a better place. Because the more finely tuned and the happier and the calmer and the more free we each are as unique, loving, dynamic beings, that itself manifests itself energetically in everything that we do and through everyone that we're around. So I encourage you to take two or five or ten minutes every day for yourself and for those you love uh, to do a little meditation. Now, since I'm about 18, I've been practicing how to take quiet, still, eyes closed meditation into daily life and into moving meditation. Um, and it's doable. It's totally doable. And I also suggest that you start in a place where you can, um, where you can be quiet, relatively quiet, minimize distractions, like don't have your phone ringing, if, turn off the TV. If the TV's on in another room and your kids or your family or somebody is watching, that won't, that's not a big deal. I learned how to meditate, uh, in New York City. So um, noise isn't a problem. It can be, but it doesn't have to be a problem. But if you can minimize, turn off your cell phone, turn off your texts, turn off anything that, on you that's a device. Okay. Number That's number one. Number two, uh, you want your body to be in a very comfortable position. So for you, that may mean lying down. That could be sitting. I'm happy to sit cross-legged because I can sit up tall. If you can't, you might sit in a chair. So you might sit on your yoga mat. If you like sitting on the floor and your back tends to be tight, elevate your bum. Sit your bum up on something so you can tip your pelvis so that your tailbone points back so that your lower back is arched and you can lift your chest to keep your spine from your crown to your tailbone long. Okay, That's, I think, tip number three. Number four is breathing. So it's really essential to tune into the sound of your breath and, um, and to breathe. What happens and, you know, what's really common is for thoughts to start revolving around your head and, you know, I can't do this or your body starts to hurt or you have an itch or you have pain and that's kind of a little... Those are little tricky things trying to sneak in and trip you up. Don't let that trip you up or just stay with it as you continue to do this. It'll be a lot easier to let those things be what they are and they're distractions and they won't, uh, they won't disturb you. But do have your body in a comfortable position. If you start to have um, a place that hurts or that is falling asleep, again, it can, it can be a distraction, but move so that you're comfortable. Do not keep yourself in a position where you're not comfortable. So you're going to do this on your own. I want to share with you a breathing technique. Um, I call it a, a, a windsock breath. Now, you know you've seen those windsocks, and they, they take air, and they let air go, and they flip, and they flop. Now, you're going to be still. Your eyes will be closed. And I want you to breathe in through your nose if possible, as if that uh, dynamic compressor machine is just filling you with air, filling you with air. And it, and it doesn't really matter if you move a tad to let that fill you because our breath so often just gets stuck. We breathe these shallow breaths. So I want you to breathe in through your toes, in through your legs, your calves, your thighs, up into your hips and buttocks through your belly, chest, back, shoulders. You can even have that wind as it comes in through your fingers or come out and fill you and up through your head. So let that breath just come in. By now you will have certainly have 
breathe out, but let that breath fill you and then let it come out. And without becoming like a rag doll, you're going to feel yourself empty and just be that empty windsock again and repeat. So it's helpful sometimes to use a count, one, two, three, four, or up to six or eight. It depends on um, the comfort of your breathing. So for instance, breathing in on four would look like or sound like this. And then you'd exhale for about four. And inhale again for four. And exhale for four. You'll set your timer for about five minutes. That way you don't have to go, how long has it been? I want to look at my clock. Set a timer for five minutes or ten minutes. If you have three minutes, set it for three minutes. But take the time to practice. And if you have any questions, please post them below. Post your experience. Is there something that you want me to do a video or a vlog about that has to do with movement, meditation, mindset, food, recipes? Shoot me an email or post it down below. Um, sign up for my uh, newsletter and uh, free information that you're only going to get in a newsletter or by watching the blog at drronathow.com. That's also Atlas on Axis because we're going to have you doing the right things to uh, keep your body and mind soaring through the trajectory of space and time. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. This is Dr. Rona Thau. Cheers. Bye for now.